What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another video, and in today's video we are back here on the Rolling Hills uh, FS19 map, it's the Midwest one if you guys have not seen that before, um, but today we're going to be herbiciding, fertilizing, uh, and then doing, breaking into a little bit of cow stuff actually, and something that I just realized is we did not pick up any straw, oh crap. Okay, we'll have to go pick up some straw bales later too. Okay, so starting off with herbiciding. Um, if you guys haven't seen the last video I did, you should go check that one out. Um, I rearranged, or not rearranged, I added to the farm. I uh, added some gravel. I did a ton of stuff. Um, added this little mechanics workshop so we can just do whatever we want over here now instead of having to go all the way back um, over there. Uh, but right here, this is like the way you get through. Yes, there's a fence here, but it's like not really there. It's just there for like show. Um, so there's this little path that leads down, goes up over here. On this little plateau over here, we're going to be putting down cow pasture. Uh, it's going to be really, really good. Hopefully, it'll be making us a ton of money. That's the hope. Whole point of it, of course. Uh, but here, really quick, we're going to get going. Um, I'm deciding to use the uh, 6M here just because it's got thinner tires. It'd be a little bit less... Uh, less harsh than the than the 8R on the fields here. So I'm gonna set a quick line around this entire bad boy and then we're going to let the workers go to work and finish it. Uh, this is a huge, huge sprayer, it's a coon sprayer. So I don't think they'll really will uh, be too big of a di uh, the issue with it running into stuff. So let me see here. I'm trying to watch that quam set to make sure it doesn't hit it. Okay and let's get spraying so this is a this herbicide appreciate this is an herbicide so what this one's going to do is it's going to take out all of the weeds hopefully this will be our only uh weeding stage needed uh because i think if you include the cultivating one that we did already uh we should be good but this will help the production of a crops I think if you don't weed twice during the production of crops, it's a negative 40%. Each stage of weeding is 20%. So it's like 40% total, of course. Um, fertilization, I think it's 25, 25. Let me check it really quick so I'm not wrong. Hopefully the game paused. The game did not pause. And I'm just spraying everywhere. Okay. Um, let me show you right here. Improving yield. Yep. So, to, so 65%, it's fertilizer. Yep. 25% each time. Um, lime every three harvests, which we just did uh, lime. So we have this harvest, then two more, and it'll give us plus 15%. Um, and then malice, uh, bad weeds, 25%. Okay, so we're good on that. We've already, we're have already removing those right now. Um, and then after you do corn, potatoes, sugar beets, you have to do another 15. Uh, you, have to, you have to plow because they're root crops. And if you don't plow, then they're stuck there and you can't get them out with a cultivator. You got to plow, you got you to gotta dig deep, you got to turn over the soil. All right, I think I'm missing the edges here, which I need to get closer. But yeah, so we're gonna go around here. We're gonna use this herbicide and take out all of these weeds. I'm gonna set a uh, set a line quick. Once I finish this spot here, there we go. And we'll whip it around. Good thing this is about 36 or 38 meters across, so it's not gonna take me long at all. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and do all this and just time lapse it real quick. Um, at least my part of it, I'm going to time lapse. And then I will let the worker get to work and we will go check out the cow farm. And we might go buy um, some more stuff too because we, we're going to need some stuff. Uh, but yep, yeah, so we're going to time lapse this. So give me just a second.
All right, there we go. I got the entire uh, field set with a line around the outside. Hopefully this worker uh, will do some good work for me and not mess up like workers have in the past. As a lot of you guys may know, uh, it's been pretty bad, actually. All right, so we're going to go over there. I'm going to show you guys the cow area. Let me just check out how much it is for a cow pasture quick. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Let me see. Can we, can we take anything out of the bank? All right, we're going to borrow till our till our heart's content. Oh, baby. Oh, no. It maxes out at 840000 Okay. All right. So, we got some money now. We're good. We can buy at least a small cow pasture, which is fine. We can start with a small one. Then we can take all the cows, sell them, and we can put a big one down. It'll be good. It'll be good. So, like I said, this fence you can drive right through. We'll go down here. I still got a little bit of evening out to do, especially if I'm going to be pulling up with semis and stuff down here. I probably should even this whole area out a little bit more. But this, everybody, is going to be where our cow pasture is going to be. Yes, grass will grow over this eventually. Um, it's just kind of freshly done, so uh, no grass will be growing right now. Uh, we got this little cliff here, so hopefully cows don't go running off the little cliff. Um, I could even out this whole area, but I don't really think I'm going to need to because I think it'll be a nice divide here. Um, just between everything I'm going to be having. So, uh, this is probably going to be our farm area for uh, animals. So, it's going to be our pens um, and everything else. Hold on, let me see. So, our small cow farm will fit. Hold on. There we go. I need that up because I need to see if it'll let me bring the cow pasture up. All right, so I think this is actually, it's literally perfectly level across all of this. So I think we're good. Um, we'll go about... All right, so that's about as high as we can bring it up. All right, we'll go right here. Uh oh, wait, did not place it? There we go. All right. Please tell me you're not floating. Please tell me you're not floating. And it's floating. Dang it. Ah. All right. That's all I get for trying to put it up as high as possible. That is 100%. Oh, whoa. What? 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 Oh, it just disappeared. I am so confused. All right. We'll try this again. All right. Cow pasture in the ground. So this brings it up. That brings it down. All right. It is not letting us do it. Left control will rotate it. Could not be purchased. Try again. I want to place my cow pasture. That didn't work. See? We still got all of our money. It's not actually here. Yeah, it's not actually here. It shows it is, but it's not. See? There it goes. Oh, what is happening with that? Uh, let me try it on the area that has not been changed yet. Which will suck if this is the area that I need to have it on. Nope. Still not there. And it's floating crazy in the and high in the sky. All right, it'll disappear in a second. Let me just wait for it. This is weird. Oh, I wonder why it won't let us place cow pasture. Whoa, whoa! It placed. Holy crap! That was really weird. All right, maybe it's something to do with the ground over here. All right, it's fine. I can uh, use the leveling tool and I can bring this whole area up uh, another another 10 feet. Actually, I'll just have to bring in a couple, couple million dollars with a good old pay dirt or something like that. All right, so we got our little cow pasture here. It's not too bad. I kind of just willy-nilly threw it down, so placement's not terrible, but it's not great either. All right, so in this cow pasture, we can hold up to 50 cows. That's all we really need. Uh, I might do a chicken coop here soon just because we don't have one and I have never done one. Um, but what I'm going to do really quick since we got this here is we're going to go to the sculpting tool. 
and we are going to level this puppy out uh, just because it's a little crazy in my opinion um, let me go to this version there we go uh, we can bring everything up flat to this yep there we go if we bring everything everything but little, little, if we bring everything up flat to this we should be good that will cost us a lot of money though so I need to be careful on how much I do this all right we'll stop it at that and we can even this out for now gonna leave this edge but this edge I'll bring up also uh, just because this edge is super super important all right there we go we'll even this out so we can drive up it without jacking the suspension up all right there we go uh probably next video or in between this video and next video i will edit this and i will create this entire area i'll bring it all up to like what that level is or what this level is uh just because um but now before we bring cows over we let me see if it actually shows show a cow farm to it. Nope. All right, so we need to bring one cow in there. And then once we get that one cow in there, um, we can actually go through and add in everything that we're going to need. Uh, so we, or not we, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but not, not right now. Uh, let me see. Let me drive up here on the side and just add some cows in really quick. Is this, is this the spot where you added? No. It was over here this back end right here yep all right so we're gonna pick up one cow right now we're gonna start with just the brown cow um so $2,700 so $200 tr transport fee that's a little outrageous in my opinion all right so now that we got him here we're gonna be placing a water silo down it's around here somewhere water station yes all right so we're gonna drop this bad boy uh, right here we'll probably have a few around this area just because we're gonna be needing them because uh, this is gonna be our animal heavy area uh, let me see what else we got over here fertilizer Ooh, I should place that fertilizer fill station down all right so now we got that cow down he's gonna need some water we need some way to keep him clean which is I'm gonna buy a small tractor and it's only gonna be used for a front loader attacher and scooping poop and everything out of the way Hay silage, grass, okay, which we can use. That hillside there for grass, I need to wait for that little patch to grow back in because that patch got messed up uh, by one of our workers who was very, very negligent of the uh, of the cultivator at the time. He's using the big butt, if you guys remember that. He was just going through, just going like crazy, and he just wiped out the entire area. All right, so I'm going to drive back over here. We are going to go grab something. We're going to grab something to fill up our water with. Yeah. Because we're going to give him water first so he can survive. Uh, grass will be the next step. So we'll, then we'll get a mower and we'll get mowing. We'll cut a little bit of grass. And then we'll probably buy some bales. Um, actually, I'll probably go do the bales right now. Because if there's a good time to do bales, it would be right now. Um, let me think. Do I not have... Oh, never mind. It's right there. I was going to say, do I not have my Magneton trailer anymore? But I do have it. It's just chilling over here. I forgot that it was... Uh... Yeah, it's flatbed. You can't use... Yeah, not gooseneck. Alright, so what we're going to do is... Is that we are going to... Go get some bales of straw. And hay. So I can throw the straw down. I will probably also buy some other stuff while we're there um i'm probably gonna, i'm just gonna try and check off everything that we're gonna need uh just because there's a lot so we're gonna need water tank so we need something to transport the water we're gonna need hay bales we're gonna need straw bales we're gonna need the machine to spray straw into the enclosure we can just take the hay throw it in that's no big deal uh, if we can, if we have enough money left over, we'll try and buy a super, super small. Uh, I think I might have a super small John Deere tractor in here, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Oh, bye-bye stop sign. Oh, looks like we're taking it with us. Um, <laughs> gosh, uh, we're going to go pick up a, the super small John Deere tractor or some, some small John Deere tractor, whatever, whatever we can find. With the front loader attacher on her, just used for scooping up. 
And maybe a livestock trailer. Is there a livestock spot? Yes, there is. There's an ammo dealer up there. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, when we get over here, we'll start purchasing everything. As you guys can see, my shop area is a little bit of a mess. So avert your eyes. I still got one of the uh, Great Plains planters. I think I got the cedar over here. Yeah, I think that's the cedar, not the planter. I got the cedar version over here. So we're going to be uh, needing that guy in a second. Oh, buy stop sign. Just like fell off and disappeared. Alright, so the pallets and not the pallets, the uh the bales I can load up by hand, which is okay with me. Um let me just drop this trailer. Alright. Alright, we're gonna scooch these out of the way just so they don't mess up all of our uh spawning and whatnot. I should actually just take these to the farm with us since we're here and we have them in front of us. Uh, but I probably won't. Hold on, let me just drop this. And then we're going to go for uh, this. Bales. Uh, ooh. Whoa, it's wheat straw. Okay, I thought it was like... I thought it was... Why don't... Why? Does it matter if it's wheat or barley? I mean, I don't know. All right. These have more... Six, okay, they're the same price. I was gonna say, I was like, wait a second. Okay, wow, silage is so expensive. Okay, so we'll buy probably five bales of each. Uh, we'll do four bales. Start with four bales, and then we'll do four bales of this. Hopefully, that should be enough to uh, supply that one cow for now, because we're not gonna be getting too many until like next episode, until I can get another harvest going, because. I messed up really bad and we need uh we need some wheat we need some straw i think i was supposed to have the, this next harvest done before i started this um and i think i messed up guys i think i messed up okay so small tractors what's the smallest we have here yes this is it okay can this take a front loader attacher yes it can oh okay that is sweet all right this is what i was talking about this is what i really 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 wanted it's the, it's the 2r it's so small okay so 39,000 and it has a hitch on it. Okay, this will be absolutely perfect for us. Okay, and then we'll go to implements, front loaders. Um, we're probably gonna be using the smaller one. Yeah, wait, this is the 30, we need the 60, right? Well, this is greater than 90. Okay, yeah, we'll be doing this one. This is the smaller one. Uh, we'll go with John Deere, buy. All right, so we got that, and we don't need to get a bale fork, and I'll show you guys why in a second. If you know, then you know. Uh, but we got to go to animals, and we are going to be picking up one of these. Picking up this one, because this one is compatible with our front loader. Pick this up. So this comes in with a bale fork on it, so we can also use that bale fork. Um, but we're also going to need a bucket so this one holds 940 where's the silage bucket there is a big silage bucket around here somewhere uh here let me go find it really quick never mind guys the silage fork was for the front load or for a wheel loader so not quite uh not quite same ballpark i was looking at it's a little too big all right we will go with actually you know what we're gonna do a yellow bucket just because the green gotta break up the green a little bit okay whoo so this is a lot of, oh and wait we forgot one more thing water bucket that's what we need uh, oh yeah I also brought the Wilson uh, ranch hand trailer over from 2015 somebody uh, transported it over so that's fantastic um, we're gonna start with this one because we can transport milk with it too main color it's going to be stainless steel just because I think stainless steel looks the best. Alright, there we go. Do we never not... Oh, yeah, it's over there. So I'm not 100% sure how well this thing is going to do on using that guy over there. But we will uh, for sure find out in a minute here. Oh, this little thing is crazy. You can use this as a mower too. A rear though, not a front. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't think this thing likes this much, uh... Uh-oh. Apparently he completed his task, so we'll have to go check him out in a second. I don't know how much this thing likes this much, uh... Yeah, this much weight on it. So we'll find out here in a second. It's got big rear wheels, though, so hopefully it can hold that. Uh, we're going to tab over and check on that guy just real quick. Oh, we passed him. Let's check and see how the field looks. See if it is all fertilized. Uh, looks like he missed a little bit of weeds. So we're going to run back through really quick and cover those weeds for him. Just because we can't have the area missing any. Uh, just because I'm a little worried if it is. I want to get the maximum yield out of this crop here. Oh, yeah. There's not much. There's just a couple spots. So there's this spot. Then if you guys can see up in the distance, there's that spot up there that's got quite a bit actually on it that needs to be weeded. All right. Here. We're going over to it. And then once we get that one done, we will set him on field seven. Shouldn't take him long for field seven either. So probably by next episode, guys, uh, we will be fully ready to go and we will start our harvest for wheat um i'm gonna be getting somebody else in here with us because i'll be i'll be live streaming probably the second or first half of it um but i will be getting some of you guys in there but i will have everything set up for that and you guys will see a little thing pop up um if you guys do have the bell notifications or are subscribed you will see it when i uh sit the live stream uh i will tell you what time it is and everything so you guys will see it and i will have all the links for joining in the uh, mods and everything down below in the comments or not in the comments in the description um, So be on the lookout for that probably coming up here In a day or two actually um, I still haven't gotten my webcam though because I was gonna do a webcam so you guys could uh, finally see my face when I stream But I don't quite have one yet All right here. Let me just whip it around There we go all right, I'm gonna drive this over here now. Maybe if I, nope, that's not making it. Is it making it faster? No, it's not making it any faster. I was gonna say if I close on the arms, will I go faster? But nope. I don't even know if we have any weeds on fields eight actually though, so we might have to wait on field eight. I think I might have, I might have timed field eight correctly to the point where I took the weeds away. Right, I planted. Right as soon as the weeds were coming up, so it destroyed them. Ooh, I might have. I'll have to go back and double check, though. Alright. Uh-oh. Not that. Alright. I wonder if this guy will actually take out the big weeds. Oh, it does. Okay. Sorry. Alright, so it doesn't take them out, but it kills them. That's what it does with all these little guys, too. It just kills all these little weeds, um, which is what we want. But it does not kill the crops, which is good. All right. Back over to the shop. All right. Yes, we're back here. All right. So we're going to load this bucket up first. And then after that, we're going to grab the uh, machine that we'll use to spray the straw out everywhere. I can't remember, what, I can't, I can't remember exactly what it's called. Uh-oh. Looks like you have to take the ramp for this little guy. All right, I was just about to say, hopefully that'll stay, but I don't think it will. All right, that's fine. We will go back and fix that in a minute. And now it's time for this big boy. Let's see if we can actually move it. Barely, we can barely move this thing. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. We might be able to make it over. Okay, that was weird. It was like attached. And we can't do it. Okay. What is going on? Okay, this will be the last thing then. We'll leave that uh, on here and we'll just attach it. And then we'll just drive this bad boy up. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load these up uh, by hand really quick. If I can actually see. Here, we'll just throw, I'm just throwing them over here for now. 
I will adjust them, don't worry. Just Grab this other one. I'm going to stack these two by two, I think. And then we'll stack the other ones on top. There we go. So I think there's some issue with the back of this trailer, so it doesn't like it. If I had my 60-foot PJ on here, that would be so much better. But I don't, for some reason. Don't ask me why, just don't. Alright, there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can't move these ones. Oh, we can't move any of them. Oh, it's got to be an issue with the trailer. That's what it is. All right, we'll see if I moved it. That'll make it a little bit easier. Yep, we can finally touch it now. All right, and then if you hold the middle mouse button, we can maneuver this bad boy. Drop that in. All you gotta do is scooch this one out of our way. Honestly, if I probably just like loaded these onto a small trailer and drove everything back, we'd probably be done by now. But, can't always do everything the easy way. Let's see, did that allow us to grab this one? Nope, okay. All right, guys, we're gonna cut our losses here. Hold on. So now I'm just gonna load these ones up and then we're gonna drive the uh, water tank trailer and the other thing back manually. We're not gonna do it along or manually. We're not going to drive it on this, basically is what I'm saying. So I'll load this thing up real quick. Let me get the water trailer hooked up. Yep, that hooks up good. <laughs> That's a relief. Something finally works. Right, maybe I could just push this one off the... There we go. It's causing me problems. We got to get it out of here. All right, we'll drop that down. Come up. No, don't touch the trailer. All right, that's fine. We can, we can work with this. All right, there we go. All right, those are all good. Oh man, I really do like that little, that little bit tractor here. All right, we'll set these last two up above. If they would set above. Nope, everything's going to fall off. All right, everybody, just avert your eyes. Gorilla Man is having a, having a moment here. There we go. Yeah, okay, so I think the, uh, the straw spreader I'm going to put on. I'm going to try and set it on this trailer and then just uh, get it locked in. So I'm worried that it's got some issues with this trailer since it was, like, picking the trailer up, actually. Grab this bad boy. Yep. Grab this guy. Chuck it, I guess. Didn't mean to do that. All right, we'll see if we can set it. Can we just set it right there? Yes. All right, fantastic. All right, and just for the sake of this trailer bugging out, guys, I'm going to move this on there by hand. I know there's no, way, there's no way you'd ever be able to do that, but just because it won't load on the trailer unless you do it by hand, I'm going to do it like this. All right. So... This is all loaded up, ready to go. This little guy is loaded up, ready to go. Um, I don't know how realistic it would be if I can move this. I think empty, I'd probably be able to move it. But full, not quite. Alright, so I'm just going to happy Gilmore this sucker. And we're going to drive the tractor down the middle of the road. Um, so just give me a second, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to transport everything back. So give me a second. All right, guys, so I had some weird issue here after about like 20 minutes of trying to get all my stuff back. Uh, once I finally got it all back, I had some weird issue where it corrupted my save file. Um, luckily, I had another one, so I'm going to go back through. I have to go back through do a bunch of stuff that we already did in this episode. So I'm just going to end it here. Uh, I really just have to go over and buy that stuff and transport it back, which I'll do in no time. Um, but I'll end it here. Next episode, guys, we will be most likely harvesting, like I said. Um, and then we'll be uh, working on the cows a little bit, probably hauling a bunch of them. We'll pick up a Wilson livestock trailer. I'm doing some of that in a uh, upcoming live stream, probably on Saturday, uh, which should be tomorrow. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you like this video so far, if you like the series, hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you are loving it because that helps me, uh, encourages me to make more videos. 
and do more because I really appreciate all that. And if you guys aren't yet, um, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so you can know when the live streams are going up and when the videos going up. Anyways, guys, I'll see all you guys in the next Farming Simulator video.